What's up guys, Travis Ford back again with Ford Fitness. We've got another meal prep for you. Mo and I are gonna be making chicken meatballs, but rather than just pair that with some type of spaghetti, we're gonna be making a quinoa salad. So let's get started. So the original recipe calls for one pound of ground chicken, but we are doubling the meatballs because I eat a lot. So we're using two pounds of ground chicken, which means everything else for those meatballs is gonna get doubled as well. So if you don't eat as much as I do, just cut everything in half. We've got two eggs, got some minced garlic over here, some Parmesan cheese, or how do you say that, Morgan? Permission cheese. Permission cheese. Then we've got Italian style breadcrumbs, some salt, and oregano leaves. And that is gonna be all that you are going to need for those chicken meatballs. And as I promised in my last video, we're gonna be using the Meal Prepster container set that they sent to me. This is gonna be the 32 ounce. This is a pretty large meal, so we're gonna use the bigger containers. Okay, so for the quinoa, we're gonna use quinoa, of course, some lemon juice, green onions, tomatoes, olive oil, black beans. And that's it, right? And that's it. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Okay, so first we're gonna start cooking the quinoa because that takes the longest to cook. And we're not gonna wash it because it's pre-washed. It's pre-washed. People always tell me, Travis, you don't wash your stuff. It's because it's pre-washed, guys. A little quick unboxing of a rice cooker in case you guys ever wondered what came in a rice cooker. Probably not. So for the quinoa, it's gonna be two parts water to one part quinoa. So for every like cup of quinoa you add in, you add in two cups of water. So we are doing two cups of quinoa, which is basically exactly what's in the packet. Yeah, basically the whole packet. Wow, it's perfect. And then you're gonna add that in before you add your water. And then now, because it's one to two, we're gonna add four cups of water. Boom. All right, so now we're gonna get started with the meatballs. Let's just get that container out of the way. Links will be in the description for this stuff if you wanna go check it out. Um, I did do a giveaway in my last video, so if you missed that, you still have that 10% off discount code, which will be on the screen and in the description below. All right, so first we're gonna grab that chicken out of the packet throw it in that bowl, and then we're gonna get started on the ingredients. Boom. All right, and now we're gonna put those two eggs in there. Cheese. I'm sorry, what was that? What I mean, kind permission, of permission cheese. Permission cheese. Making permission chicken. Did they teach you in elementary school how to measure? You're supposed to level it out and then look. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so now we're going to add a cup of breadcrumbs. Okay, so next we're gonna do three teaspoons of minced garlic. All right, next we're gonna add two teaspoons of oregano leaves. All right, and finally, we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're gonna mix it all together. All right, now it's time to shake these bad boys up. 
bad boys. <laughs> So if you double the recipe like we did, and if you roll your meatballs to the size that we did, you should end up with 14 meatballs, which is a lot. So we are gonna get started cooking these up. The quinoa over there is still getting done cooking. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Okay, so first we're gonna start off by warming up the skillet in olive oil. So you're just gonna put them in the pan and cook them until all sides are brown, approximately like eight minutes for each meatball. So I usually cook my meatballs in the oven. That's why I make them a bit thicker, but because we are only cooking them in the pan, we decided to cut everything in half. Reducing the size of the meatball is gonna make it cook a lot easier, a lot faster, and a lot more even. And we're just gonna keep rolling these guys around so they cook evenly and brown evenly on all sides. So these bad boys are done and we are gonna get them plated. Okay, so the meatballs are done, and we're just gonna let them sit there and cool while we work on finishing the quinoa salad. And there are the ingredients. That's pretty much everything we're gonna need for this salad. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna cut all of our fresh produce. We have two tomatoes here that we're gonna chop up into fine cubes, two green onions, we're gonna slice those, and then lemon, and we're gonna make lemon juice with that. started with these green onions. Add that in. So now we're just going to get out two cups of cooked quinoa. We're going to dump it in there, like so. Alright, so we're just going to open these guys up. We're going to drain them in the sink. Alright, so we're going to put two thirds of a cup of black beans into the quinoa mix. So we put two thirds of a cup of black beans in here and now we're gonna add two teaspoons of olive oil. All right, now all of our food is cooked and we're just gonna put them into the containers. All right, and that is all it takes, guys. This did not take long at all. And best of all, it is super delicious. Morgan and I tried this quinoa salad blend and let me tell you, it's freaking amazing. That lemon in there is just perfect. We also made some squash. These went in the oven for 15 minutes. Took them out, put some black pepper and some salt on them and they are fantastic.
Meatballs are perfectly browned. I like my meatballs a little bit darker. If you don't prefer them like that, you can lower the heat just a tad and you will get that golden brown that you're looking for. But overall, I am super happy with this dish. Definitely something that I would recommend. This is a super duper healthy dish packed with protein. What more could you ask for? Thank you so much for watching guys and thank you so much to Mo for helping me with this meal prep. You guys can expect to see her in a ton more of my meal preps and some more regular videos on my channel. Like I said, if you're interested in these meal prep containers, I would definitely recommend them. Links will be in the description below. And if you wanna see a video where I talk more about them, you can check the description for my last YouTube video where I showcased this bad boy and the two other sizes that Meal Prepster offers. Thank you so much for watching guys and stay strong.